Hey, today I want to show you how to make a tiny hanger for tiny sweaters. So these sweaters are meant as like ornaments. You could use them as gift packaging, uh, that sort of thing. So we're making the little hanger that goes inside. So first, there's a couple of tools you're going to need. Um, these are uh, jeweler's pliers. So they have round posts. Uh, it helps to make the little like curves and to um, not leave marks behind. So you'll notice on needle nose pliers, there's these little like grooves that are there to help you grip things. But um, when you're working with like a coated wire like this, you don't really want to grip it too hard or else you can actually pull the paint off. So um, jeweler's pliers are good for that. Uh, we also I also have nippers here. Uh, the nippers on these ones aren't very sharp. You'll see there's a blade down here for cutting wire. So I'm going to use these ones instead. Uh, okay, so first let's start by making a little bit of a ring. So right at the end of the wire, you're going to clamp it in your jeweler's pliers and give it a twist. So that gives you this lovely little guy. Uh, just to keep your ends from snagging on everything. So you can then, you know, jeweler's pliers don't grip. So I'm gonna use the regular pliers and just so it's, you can see it's still a little gappy. So I'm gonna use the regular pliers and just kind of squish it closed. It's like the wire's fighting me. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Of course, doing this on camera is substantially harder than doing it in person. Okay, so now I've got my little loop and I'm going to pin it down. Actually, I'm going to cut off some of this wire just to make it a little easier than maneuvering the entire spool. So I'm going to pin that little loop, okay? That's just kind of to anchor it so I can pull stuff around it. Um, I'm going to give a top point to my hook. I'm gonna kind of pin in this little arc shape so that I can make that part of the hanger. So that's the upper spiral, this little part. Okay, and then I'm going to use some pliers to get a nice curve here. I want that, let's see if I can make this closer. There we go. Okay, so you can see that I've got my little loop and then I've pinned around to kind of give it some shape as I pull it. Um, and then I've got a little divot here for where I want the hanger part to end. Then I'm going to do another one. So basically I'm holding steady with the pliers while I bend the wire around. So I've got this little like post here, the shank of the hook. Okay, then I've got some more pins. We're going to gauge this. Okay, so there's one side. I'm going to go over this way. And let's do another bit. Equidistant on the other side. And you can actually measure these. I can going for about two inches here between these posts. And the wire's got some give, so. Okay. And don't worry about making these too snug. They're going to they're gonna shift in a bit. So right now we're just getting the general shape. Okay. And then maybe like a third of an inch past the cross and I'm going to trim and then use again use my tools I'm going to right where that where they meet I'm going to bend the last the end wire up so I've got those two parallel pieces okay now I'm going to unpin and take these. So I'm going to clamp both of these bits together. Again, trying not to do it too hard because they are, uh, they're coated wires. So I'm going to just barely catch that tail end and then make sure that it's in there. There we go. And then twist. So I find it easier to twist the arms of the hanger than to twist the uh, shank or the hook. Okay, so we've got a little twist in there. You can kind of then reshape the hanger, give it a little pull downward 
to get the right kind of shape. And you can also, you know, put pins where you want and then give it some, some tug to get nice sharper points. And, you know, the wire's pretty soft. This is 24 gauge wire, so it doesn't, you know, take that much work to maneuver it. Um, and then I'm going to stick this inside a little Hanukkah sweater. The, uh, the neck openings on these tiny sweaters don't really open as much as a regular sweater would, so you can't really put the hanger in through the collar, especially with such soft wire. But, so, you know, refine it as you see fit. That'll hang on a Christmas tree or on a Hanukkah bush, as my dad would do. Um, or you can attach them to presents. Uh, you can put them on top of wine bottles and give the wine bottle, you know, the wine as a present and just with a little like holiday sweater for the wine, that sort of thing. So I've got uh, the pattern, the free pattern, I'll link to in the show notes. It has the instructions for all of the decorating as well. So okay, it's Norwegian star as an homage to a Julia Farwell clay pattern. This one string lights. And then this one I did the Norwegian star kind of off center on the side just for fun. So uh, enjoy making tiny, tiny sweaters. They're super fun. And I'll see you guys later.